Hello everybody and welcome back to Forage Creation. Today we are visiting a Shaker village, so let's go. And the places that we are visiting in Al Ashalkan, mosques, museums and street of Al Ashkar. While we were driving, we came across this car accident and it looked like it was a really dangerous car accident, but we forgot about it. Now we're on our way to Alashkar. Why not talk about Alashkar village and its history? So we came through this checkpoint and we found this university. Look how beautiful the view is. It's so beautiful. I love this view. Ashkar is the iconic Najdi village. It is located 200 km northwest of Riyadh in the heart of Najd, the central plateau of the Arabian Peninsula. The village lays in the Washam Plain few kilometers west of a narrow range of red sand dunes. So we came across these sand dunes and they were so curvy. We parked right here and now we are off to see the beautiful views of the Ashagar Heritage Village. Now we are entering the village. When I first entered this place, I thought it was like a really old castle something. It gave me vibes of an old castle. to the Ashkar Heritage Village. Now we are gonna go explore this Ashkar Village. So we entered this dark cave and we found these little two doors and stuff like that. So this is like kind of like a mini village. Yeah, it is a mini village and it's like just so cute. I want to live in one of these houses, not gonna lie. But unfortunately, I can't live in one of these because they're getting renovated now and they're old and used, so who wants to live there, right? 
is just a tourist site now. So as you can see, like the doors are kind of like broken and stuff and like there's like ways to go. You have like villages and like kind of like alleys. You can just walk around and just like explore this place. Like, yeah. As you can see, some of the doors are like leading us outside and not like inside the houses. Some of them are like for the outside access, so yeah. Entered the small place and it has like stairs and like a door and yeah, it's just like abandoned. Now we entered and the first vibe that I got was like so amazing. It was like kind of like a rocky, rocky place with like little kind of like houses. And I just like really loved this. And it was just so inspiring to me. Let me tell you the story behind this bridge. So it was made years ago when the people lived here and they made this bridge so they can go to other people's house and they can meet each other, so yeah. And it's way easier for them to communicate. So right now we are walking on this bridge and look how beautiful the view is. Like it should, it's like reminds me of like abandoned houses. It is abandoned houses, but it's just so beautiful. The sun and it's just, it's, it's just my vibe, you know, I love it. I loved being here. So as you can see, there's like all these like rocks on the floors and broken houses. It's not really a living place anymore. It's just like a viewing place now. So like you can take pictures and stuff, that's it. And we saw this well right here and it is so deep. We saw these little huts too. As you can see, how deep is that well? It is so deep. We also saw this water here and like it was like really cool. This was like a little river of water and it's so cute.
now we are heading to this big tower and we're gonna try to reach the balcony. And I think it has stairs so we have access to go up. As you can see there's some chairs displayed there and there's like a little hut here too. It's just like a little picnic place you can say. As you can see, here are some stairs so we can go up and look at the beautiful view. As you can see, we reached the top and now we're gonna look at the view. Now we're just gonna give you a view of this whole place. Now we are climbing up the stairs and we reached to the top. Oh my God, guys, look at this beautiful and astonishing view. It is so beautiful. I could watch this forever. Here, we're just gonna give you a quick view of this heritage village. As you can see, I'm zooming up to the well. And the view is just very pleasing up here. Now we are heading back down. And here we found some family sitting areas. Guys, look, we found so many sheep. I wonder if we can go catch one. We can't do that, but let's go try. Sadly, when we came near them, they were all running away. So I 
basically tried to like touch a sheep, but they were all running away from me and I was trying to chase after them, but they were running away from me and I was disappointed. Guys, look, they all gathered up because there was no place for them to go. This is my chance. Guys, I'm so scared to touch them, so they all ran away from me when they saw me. I'm a big loser. Oh my god, guys, they're literally running so fast. I got so scared, I moved to the corner. They're so fast. So guys, we found this man with a pet falcon and I really wanted to touch it. So we decided to ask the man if we could touch it and he was so loyal and generous that he let us touch his pet falcon. So he gave us this glove to protect us from the falcon's big claws and it was standing on this like green kind of pole and also his eyes were blinded because he, if he sees us, he might even like attack us, so yeah. So as you can see, the rope, he's trying to get the rope on our hand so the rope helps us get the falcon on our hand and I was feeling like so scared, what if he just like, like literally harasses me out of nowhere? And this is my sister, Hamna, touching the falcon too. As you can see, I'm showing the little like blindfold on his head and I got used to that falcon. So we arrived back at this little water place because it just relaxes my mind a lot. So I decided to come back here. Wow guys, look at the sunset. It's like a purple, pink, and orange type of sky.
Now we are heading back. We had a lot of fun with the sheep and the falcon and now we are returning back to our car. Okay guys, so we now arrived to our car and I, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and make sure to subscribe. Goodbye everybody!